cute little paper plate um, noise maker, so it's a shaker. So for this project, we will need a hole puncher, Sharpie, um, three pink or whatever color you desire uh, for pipe cleaners. And if you don't have any pipe cleaners, feel free to use string as well, string, yarn, thread, anything that'll hold the paper plate together. You can also use a stapler if you don't have any of that stuff, tape, that'll all work really good. Uh, two paper plates, of course, any color. I picked pink because I really like the pink. You don't want, you want thin, easy to bend uh, paper plates. And then, um, beads, beads, rice, um, just anything like that, beads or rice. And um, I'm gonna make a nice thing. So beads, rice, and beads. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so last video, we made our cute little paper doll, um, toilet paper doll roll. And this is my craft assistant. Say hello. Hello. Hi everyone. How are you all doing? Everyone, hi. Nice to see you. Okay. With this amazing little craft assistant, we have to find a name for this guy. So down in the description, you can look down there. We have five names that you can choose from. Five for him. And we're gonna vote. You put your votes down below and let me know. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, so your paper plates need to be, if you made a little doll, you have a toilet paper roll. Your toilet paper roll needs to be like that. So if there's a little bit of space right there, that's perfect. Or if you have one of these and it fits all the way across, then you have the right paper plate. So just a, these aren't a uh, meal paper plate, they're more like a cake plate, a dessert, um, dessert plate, or small plates. Um, my family calls them like little um, kid plates for the kids. Um, so yeah, that's all you need. And then you are going to flip it over like this. The white side's gonna be up like that, okay? And you are going to punch holes around the outside. Now, if the hole puncher doesn't fit in, the plates use, don't be afraid to use a, uh, stapler and then you can still use your pipe cleaners just with glue or tape. Okay, so I tried with the hole puncher and that won't work. So use an amazing stapler. Okay, go ahead and start stapling. So now that you're stapled, make sure that you're getting on the plates and now we'll move on. Okay, so get about halfway, so about right here on your paper plate, and stop with your stapling or hole punch if your hole punch is big enough or your tape. Um, and then you need to take this bag of beads and put them in, but that's after you're done stapling everything. And make sure that when you staple, you're getting the bottom plate too. And then the pipe cleaners I'll show you now. They are actually going to fit right in between those plates. Like this. They're going to go around like that to make sure the stuff doesn't come out. And then you're going to either tape them or glue them. Or you can even staple them if you'd like. Okay, now let's finish our stapling. Go ahead 
and dump in these beans. If you're using rice, it's better to have the pipe cleaners so that um, um, like the rice doesn't fall out, you know what I mean? But if you just have beads and there's these smaller holes, it's not going to be so bad. Okay, so go ahead and see how I can open up the plates just a little bit. Now you take the beads and pour them in. So now that they're in, you can see, it's not very many, they sure make a loud noise. So um, now you just finish safely. to become an astronaut. Let me know if you'd like to become an astronaut down below. Comments. Um, what's your favorite planet? Um, do you like to stargaze? All those questions I just asked you, um, let me know down in the comments below. If you can guess what we're making, put in the comments right now. too small. Just lean it off the top like that. And now I'm going to take this over, under, and over here. If you guys did the, uh, if you guys did the umbrella project, you kind of know what I'm doing. It's just a little tiny bit different, but you do. If you need more pipe cleaners, go ahead and grab them. So guys, um, with all those questions, do you think you know what I'm making? I wonder. Okay, do you guys want to know what I'm making? Okay, I am making a um, UFO space object. So it's kind of like a little saucer. So, 
Buster's engine is really loud. So it's really fun to make and really cool, isn't it, Craft Assistant? It is so cool and fun. I just want to do it all the time. I want to shake it and shake it and shake it. Woo, woo. Shake it and shake it and shake it. Woo, woo. Okay, Craft Assistant. I love your enthusiasm. Okay, now for the best part. You get to decorate it. So, you can do whatever you want on your very own UFO space shuttle um, or whatever you'd like to call it, your um, saucer. So there's your cute little space alien. And on your little space, sh um, space shuttle or saucer that you just made all by yourself. Doesn't it look so cool? And I hope you enjoyed this craft and you make a lot of noise with this. Because it is so fun to shake around. Like when I was a kid, I would love to do this. If you like this craft, leave a comment down below. Answer answer all those questions that I asked you. If you can, subscribe, like, and turn on post notifications too. And remember to check in the subscription for voting for his name. And we have a craft contest. Go to my last video where we made my little craft assistant, and you'll know all the rules and everything. Everything will be down in the description for you to look at. The sign up get cut off is this Friday, so July 26th at 5.29 p.m. EST. And the voting, the voting will begin that day and the winner will be chosen August 6th, 3 o'clock p.m. EST live on YouTube. So if you entered, you my email's down there, all the rules are down there, and go check out my last video because I just made a really cool entry for the last video that will tell you all about it and some really cool things. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and see you again next time for a really, really, really cool craft on Craft Time. Bye! <laughs>